Happy Wednesday. My name is Philosophical and today I'm feeling quite quizzical. And a while back I was given an exercise to write down a hundred questions in a notebook. Just a hundred questions one after another. And I found that one question opened up millions of other questions and it was a very fun exploratory process. And so today I'm feeling quite quizzical, so I feel like asking hundreds of questions. Maybe not hundreds, maybe maybe 17 questions. And then I hope that these questions infer questions for you and then we can question each other's questions and bounce questions all day long. Because that's what I like to do. And so questions are often more important than answers, I think. But anywho, most of these questions are gonna be about sleep. So I've been re really thinking about sleep and now I'm going to change my voice to my usual voice because it, this voice is getting tired and maybe I'm questioning how much longer I can sustain it. Anywho... <laughs> oh boy. Um, so happy Wednesday. Today is June 6th and um, I'm here in Happy Valley visiting in one of my favorite parts of the woods and um, yeah I've been really pondering sleep this last morning and um, the last few days I've slept for like eight and a half or more hours every night and usually I only sleep maybe five hours a night and um, a few days back I was at this gathering where we stayed up all night three nights in a row um, dancing and drumming and singing and I think that kind of threw off my pattern because I was sleeping during the day but anywho I'm just gonna start bouncing these questions out there because I just have no idea what sleep is for. <laughs> so basically I'm curious, um, it's like if I believe, if we believe we need six hours of sleep, is that so is that good enough, like the placebo effect? Or does is it, do we have a certain amount that is kind of required for us to have energy? Um, so that's one question. Another thing is like, when I used to be get on this cycle of getting four hours of sleep and waking up at really early in the morning and doing yoga, I felt like I had a ton of energy. But now recently I've felt like four hours isn't enough and it makes me like have all these headaches and stuff. So maybe you can sustain it for like a month or so. And there's all these crazy like um, alternative sleeping patterns. They people have done like in the past Thomas Edison other famous inventors have um, said they they would do a two-hour nap like five times a day and there's all these different patterns you can explore I'm curious if you'd explored any of these alternative sleep patterns because you know growing up we're like told like oh you need exactly eight hours a night or else you're you need you're uh, gonna fall asleep in class or whatever and um, I mean, I would always fall asleep in class anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, but anywho, some more questions about sleep is like, are we visiting other realities? Are we transforming dimensions or something? Maybe we need more sleep at this period of, of summer because the sun is doing solar flares and stuff. So we have to like balance out more. Um, other questions I have is like maybe maybe I need to focus more on my dreams and I only dr remember my dreams if I sleep more than six hours because when I do the like four hour thing I usually don't remember my dreams and I think it really comes down to like what is my strongest intention what is my need for sleep do I want to have the most energy during the day or do I want to um, figure out a way to um, remember my dreams or am I like tapping into other realities I just don't know I want to start a conversation and talk about sleep and dreams because I think it's really fascinating um, and just a few more thoughts on sleep let's see um, yeah sleep deprivation I've, I've gone like 48 hours or 55 hours or something once without sleeping at all and that's really crazy because it just like stretches your perception of time and you see all the cycles of our society, how everyone sleeps. And that's really fascinating, I think. Another thing is um, is like when I wake up really early in the morning and do yoga at like 4 a.m. 
it seems like uh, everything is just so much more calm and relaxed and I'm wondering if that's because like the collective consciousness of a city is everyone's asleep and somehow that has an effect on the general field of of reality um, so that's another crazy thought to throw out there I'd love to hear what you have to think about sleep um, and uh, just any other related thoughts and just relating to my personal journey I'm I'm gonna be doing this tour throughout the summer um, which I'll post the link to so I want to figure out like how am I gonna sleep on the road do I want to do these two-hour naps or do I want to sleep for eight hours or I don't even know I'm just feeling quizzical today so asking lots of questions have a beautiful day and question everything peace